In recent weeks, reports have begun to surface in the tech industry that, if confirmed, could become the biggest news in the entire history of the electric vehicle market. The story is that NVIDIA, the very corporation that in just a few years transformed itself from a manufacturer of graphics accelerators into the absolute global giant of artificial intelligence, is preparing to move into a new industry and overturn it just as it once overturned the AI market. According to information published by several authoritative outlets, NVIDIA is discussing internally the possibility of launching a project aimed at creating its own electric vehicle. Journalists report that this initiative was first voiced at a closed strategic session in San Jose, where Jensen Huang personally presented a radical set of long-term development directions for the next decade. According to insiders who attended the meeting, Huang stated that the era of traditional automaking is over and that the next era will belong not to those who build bodies, but to those who create the brain of the machine, a full intelligent organism controlling transport at the level of superhuman systems. And if this is true, NVIDIA is in the perfect position not just to enter the EV industry but to lead it. The fact that NVIDIA is now the most valuable and one of the most influential companies on the planet has not been in dispute for a long time. Its market cap has surpassed trillion-level valuations, and demand for its chips is so high that governments of some countries are forced to compete directly with corporations like Google and Amazon to secure supply quotas. Without NVIDIA's products, the operation of major data centers, national research institutes, financial algorithms, defense systems, and even advanced medical platforms is impossible. The world has become so dependent on its technology that analysts call NVIDIA the unofficial central computer of the planet. And against the backdrop of this unprecedented influence, the company has begun to scale its ambitions into new directions. Over the past year, it has become known that NVIDIA is increasing investments in robotics, medical AI models, digital twin systems, cloud ecosystems, and autonomous platforms. But until recently, no one suspected that the idea of building a fully proprietary electric vehicle was being discussed internally. Information about the closed meeting at which Huang proposed developing the first NVIDIA model appeared under conditions of full anonymity. A source familiar with the details said that the meeting was attended by leaders of three key divisions, NVIDIA Drive, the automotive arm, Omniverse, responsible for simulations and digital twins, and a special group working on next-generation computing platforms, including the NVIDIA Drive Thor Superchip, the most powerful automotive AI processor in the world. It was at that moment that Jensen Huang first outlined the idea that NVIDIA possesses everything necessary to create a revolutionary electric vehicle that would not simply enter the market, but completely redefine what the car of the future should be. The most interesting part is that NVIDIA truly does have all the technical components required to create its own EV. Today, the company has the world's most advanced architecture for autonomous driving and automotive computing. Its NVIDIA Drive Orin chips are installed in cars from dozens of manufacturers, from Volvo and Polestar to BYD, Xpeng, NIO, Mercedes, and Lucid. The next generation, the Drive Thor Superchip, has already been described by experts as the brain for level 5 autonomy. NVIDIA has its own operating system for transportation, its own platform for sensors, its own road simulation system based on Omniverse, its own infrastructure for training neural networks, its own cloud data centers, and extensive experience integrating AI models into the physical world through robotic solutions. In essence, the company has long been creating the internal core for vehicles, but has so far supplied it to third-party manufacturers. And now, if its leadership has indeed made the decision, NVIDIA has the opportunity to move to the next level, building its own transportation device fully controlled by its intelligent systems. According to sources, Huang stated that NVIDIA's goal is not to create a regular EV. He said directly that the market does not need another car. The market needs a new transportation organism. This is the key difference between NVIDIA's future project and Tesla, BYD, or other manufacturers. While those companies compete in batteries, design, and autonomy, NVIDIA can offer a fundamentally different approach, a vehicle built around a super-powerful AI capable of self-learning, adapting, 
connecting to digital twins of cities, interacting with smart infrastructure, and making decisions faster than any human. If Tesla builds transportation around software, NVIDIA can build transportation around a global-scale AI infrastructure. At the same time, the financial picture allows the company to move in this direction without the slightest limitations. Last year, NVIDIA earned tens of billions of dollars in net profit. The company is essentially drowning in money, receiving massive orders for GPUs, server platforms, and specialized AI systems. This financial flow makes it possible to enter a high-risk industry. Analysts at Tech Strategy Group estimate that creating even a pilot batch of vehicles requires investments of several billions of dollars. But for NVIDIA, these are amounts it can invest without harming its core business. Moreover, experts say the emergence of its own vehicle would allow NVIDIA to secure a position in the automotive vertical not only as a chip supplier, but as a full owner of an ecosystem, which means potentially hundreds of billions in long-term profit. However, closed discussions have also mentioned another aspect, the difficulty of entering physical hardware manufacturing. The automotive industry is one of the most expensive and complex on the planet. It requires massive factories, global supply chains, logistics, battery production, billions for certification, safety testing, and regulatory compliance across different countries. This was exactly the stumbling block for Apple, which spent almost 10 years on the Apple Car project, but never brought it to the final stage. According to insiders, these risks are being taken extremely seriously within NVIDIA. The company understands that building its own vehicle is not like developing a GPU or releasing a server chip. It is thousands of times more capital-intensive and risky. But as one source noted, unlike Apple, NVIDIA is already embedded in the automotive market. Almost all automakers consider it a strategic partner. It is also interesting that several possible project scenarios are being discussed. The first option is to create a so-called reference vehicle, not a production model, but a concept that showcases NVIDIA's architecture, interfaces, intelligence, and autonomous capabilities. This approach avoids multi-billion dollar production costs while creating a massive market impact and imposing a standard around which automakers will be forced to build their own solutions. According to insiders, if the rumors are confirmed, then as early as the beginning of next year, NVIDIA may officially announce the launch of the project. Several Western publications claim that the company has formed a closed team under the codename Atlas, which is working on preliminary calculations and architecture testing. According to unconfirmed data, the team is also considering options for external partners, battery suppliers, and production sites in Asia. Huang, who has repeatedly stated that the future belongs to AI-controlled physical systems, appears ready to take a step that could become the greatest in the company's history. And if this happens, the automotive industry will indeed find itself on the verge of a revolution that may be even greater than the revolution of autonomous transport. For the first time in history, a car may be born not from mechanics, not from batteries and not from engineering, but from the brain of a supercomputer.